Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 5. Did not mean to skip that, but alright. White flower, we don't need that. Purple flower, we also don't need that. Oh, is this a rest floor? Oh, it's a rest floor! Ooh, iridescent flint beetle. Thank you for the spicy spray. Choo choo. There we go. We need more spicy sprays. Which dungeon is going to be the hardest? I mean, out of the remaining ones, I have a feeling the whole of Heroes is going to be the toughest, but the Dream Den is going to be nasty as well. This one that we're in the Cavern of Chaos is going to be the easiest, almost certainly. As hard to believe as that may be. Just... Yay! Thank you for giving me all these spicy sprays. <laughs> Welcome, Nintendo Attic. You're here to kill chaos. <laughs> well, yep, the Cavern of Chaos. We're now halfway through it, which is nice. There are only tons, ten sub-levels, but uh, we still got the boss, and the boss is the one who I'm worried about. <laughs> All right, Cavern of Chaos, sub-level six. Now fiends are uh, getting pretty watery. Oh, yuck. Water dumples. Oh, yuck. Water and electricity together. The only time that that's worked out is with electric toothbrushes. Even then, who had that idea? Who had the idea of, like... You know, toothbrushes are pretty great, but you know what they need to be? Electric. It's like, you literally rinse toothbrushes in water. ELECTRIC TOOTHBRUSHES! <laughs> and I mean, hey, I use an electric toothbrush now, so... I guess... Mission successful? Good, get the frog out of here, I don't want to deal with him. Um, Buzz, <laughs> was that you? <laughs> oh, there's... Oh, hey! It's Hoppy the Frog! Hoppy the Frog is a lot easier to deal with when you have purple Pikmin. I ha you need a toothbrush while you still have teeth. If you don't have a toothbrush, you may not have all your teeth for very long. The Princess Pearl. Oh, is that a pearl? It looks like a Christmas ornament. No, that's an earring. Keep in mind how small Olimar actually is. I got that VeggieTales reference. I'm a man of culture. Alright. How do my white Pikmin always get catapulted really far away? Conveniently right next to the bottomless pit or the water. It's a little... Frightening. Excuse me, I said dismiss all Pikmin. That includes you. Wait, I don't want the purples. I want the blues. I got the blues real bad. Here we go. Great, another water dumble. Oh no! I can't believe I had to burp a water dumble, but here we are. I didn't know he was there. Alright, let's get this very... <laughs> Very delicious-looking mushroom out of the ground. 
Oh, wait. I didn't realize. Oh. I thought this pipe was a dead end, but I actually could have toned. Whoops. So I actually could have defeated the water dumples of purples. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> the yellows are go oh, here. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Silly old bear. Yeah, I would not eat that mushroom. The grow shroom. Although maybe Mario would eat it. Oh hey! That's all the treasure. That's great. We don't even have to deal with these anode beetles. All we have to do is find the exit. There it there it is! <gasps> Mamma mia! And that see, that's a nice thing about this. You see? We don't need all the Pikmin under our control when we enter the hole. They just show up with us. Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 7. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, Pick Pick! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> yep, this game is very easy because it's cute. That's how it works, right? There definitely have not been sadistically difficult traps in our way. <laughs> oh no, the president... The president took damage somehow. Um, is that... Oh, it's that's a puffy bull hog. I'm like, why is there a flying purple thing over there? Oh, fun. You know, I'll be honest, I really expected a volatile dweevil to pop up. I remember there being more quote-unquote ambush spawns here than there are. There have been some rocks, but not... <laughs> well, thankfully, we already beat the steamroller from the alternate dimension. <laughs> the water wraith was definitely an experience to do no deaths. Um, I like the megaphone upgrade, but man, it can be hard to whistle only the Pikmin that you want. No. They're my precious. You're not allowed to, to, to take their flowers away. Get rid of the poison filters first, and then we can come by with our other Pikmin, and it'll be Hunky Dory. Is there actually in? I don't think there's any treasure down there. Whoops. This is the Cavern of Chaos. So, the only things we have left to do in the game are Cavern of Chaos, Hole of Heroes, and Dream Den. We've gotten all the overworld treasures and beaten all the other caves. So, I'm, I'm going from basically easiest to hardest. Although, I will be doing Hole of Heroes before Dream Den, just because Dream Den is the best one to finish with. But, I think Hole of Heroes will be a little harder. Just based on what I remember of it. Alright. It would be great if I could finish every all of the remaining holes this stream. No. I'm so frightened of these stupid ball hogs, even though they can't actually kill my Pikmin. Come on. Stop shaking them off. Take your lumps. Thank you. Maybe I needed to throw a purple first. I see... I don't... I remember a small handful of sub-levels, but I don't remember which ones are which. Like, there's a sub-level in the Dream Den I'm really worried about. I can't remember which one it actually is. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate spiral cookie. The impenetrable cookie. Yeah, also th also functions as a drill bit. Hon yeah, the, the enemy design in this game is spectacular. They're very creative. Oh no, look at all the... Ugh. I, I want to find some nectar before I leave this floor, because I don't like having purple leaf pikmin. I don't like having leaf pikmin in general, but purple leaf pikmin are especially awful. This guy's easy. Just swarm him. Uh, 
I hate how the Blowhogs can blow through solid walls as well. That's that don't seem right. Ah, no. Pikmin, stay away from the poison. Le poison, le poison. How I love le poison. <laughs> Also, apparently some guys carried away the, uh, the, uh, burrow knit corpse, and I didn't authorize that. That was French. <laughs> Although the soul I was seeing is called Les Poissons, not Les Poison. I, I'm kind of surprised they made it out of that alive. But I count my blessings. Alright, carry, yeah, you can guys can carry the corpses to the end. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's a little extra money in our pockets. <laughs> What's in the Dream Den that I'm so worried about? Um, there's a sub-level that is filled with water, and you start in the middle of it with all of your Pikmin, and you're surrounded by tough enemies. The Fuel Reservoir. That's what I'm worried about in the Dream Den. Okay. Now, I don't think there's any nectar here to grab, which is... Oh, wait, no, there is. <laughs> yeah, pick all you have to do is whistle the pick and be like, hey, you guys have, like, lungs. They're oh, yeah, we do! <laughs> it's just like how if Pikmin catch fire, you just tell them, stop being on fire, and they, they stop. It's probably my favorite feature of Pikmin. There we go. Everybody is though nice and fast now. Oh, that's sub level ten. Great. <laughs> cool, cool. Delve deeper. Did oh, is Auto Mod being stupid again? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Wally Wogs are annoying enemies. Cavern of Chaos sub level eight. Oh no! Flashbacks to the shower room. <laughs> Remember when you took the shower of death? <laughs> Maybe? Oh! Oh no! Oh, if this is the floor, I think it is. Oh no, this is going to suck! <laughs> well, already there's... Yep. I think we'll have to reset on this floor more than once. There's like 800 enemies, and there's a Gatling Groink in the middle. <gasps> Bitter spray. Those of you who don't know, Gatling Groinks are exceptionally annoying enemies that can murder your Pikmin for no reason. This is not funny floor. This is horrible hole. All right. Well, let's <laughs> that you one yellow Pikmin's like I'll carry the corpse eventually. Wow! How did that guy almost eat a purple Pikmin? Purple Pikmin are supposed to home in. Actually, <laughs> that's there's two Gatling Groinks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We'll use our purple pigment to kill these guys in this room. But for the Gatling Groink room, I've got something else planned. Thankfully, these guys are very unobservant. If these were the orange Bulborbs, we'd be in a bit more trouble. How about killing him? For the Gatling Groink, Groink room, I think I'm going to bring in just the captains and have them punch all of the Bulborbs to death. And then we go in and kill the Gatling Groinks one at a time. That's my plan. Yeah, this floor... There's also a challenge mode floor that's very similar to this, except in challenge mode, you're on a time limit. Which just don't seem right. Is this floor infamous? This floor is pretty famous. Okay. 
So my plan for this floor, how easily can I beat these guys to death? Uh, pretty easily. Oh wait! That's another option! Gatling Groink can just kill these guys for me! But here's the weird thing about the Gatling Groinks is that like their explosive blasts sometimes just don't inflict damage. Like sometimes they kill, and sometimes they just kinda knock around. And I have no way of determining which one it is. It's usually just knock around, but not always. Oh no! They're both Oh bother. Okay, Gatling Groinks, I need your help. So we can get the Artillafish to help us out a little bit. I wonder if the Gatling Groinks can beat each other up. Or if they're immune to explosives. Oh no! That Gatling Groink is killing the other Gatling Groink. This is actually great. I mean, we still do need to be careful because once the Gatling Grunk is dead, we need to bring it'll come back to life after enough time has passed. But this will at least make it easier to kill the other Gatling Grunk. <laughs> Kevin, can you stop? <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> All right. Well, the president's gonna die, but all right. Uh oh. Okay. I don't like how he's going near the other living bulborbs. Ah, oh, there's still one alive down here! That should not happen. Get away from the corpse! There we go! Alright. We'll kill these guys. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Now, gentlemen, you need to hurry. You need to bring these guys back before they can regenerate. Okay, leave the leave the little guys alone. I can't believe this is actually going to work. <laughs> uh, that guy's getting close to coming back to life! I mean, you can get a lot of money on this floor if you're willing to bring all the corpses back. Why are there this many red bulbarbs? Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> this is like a Mario Maker level where there's a bunch of Goombas and Bowsers and nothing else. <laughs> it's very true. Uh, where did you come from? There's still a treasure on this sub-level somewhere. Alright, I'm not bringing all these corpses back. Alright. The worst of this is over with. So now we're gonna bring our 20 purples again, and we're gonna kill the remaining dwarf bulwark. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is ridiculous! Oh, I hope- I don't- I don't wanna have to reset on this floor. I'm pretty- I think the two Gatling Groinks were the tough part. So I think we're through the worst. Oh, I love purple Pikmin. Oh! Oh boy! Sustenance. I was hoping one of them would drop a spray, but nope. That's uh, okay. Spray? Nope. <laughs> Do I want to take a swim in the ocean of death? Uh, anything that has death in the name, I probably don't want to swim in it. Except maybe the Dead Sea. That would be an interesting experience. I've heard that the Dead Sea is, like, so salty that you literally just float in it. That, that boggles my mind a little bit. That's kind of crazy. Okay, this is act. Believe it or not, this is actually not the sub-level that I thought it was. There is another sub-level, very similar to this, I think it's in the Hole of Heroes, where 
It's kind of the same deal, a bunch of dwarf bulb guys in the tile lands. But instead of Gatling Groinks in the middle, it's a lot of giant sweeping bulborbs. Yes, it is possible to beat Banjo Tooie with just five jumps. And it intrigues me. That, uh, <laughs> well, we do know the Empress Bulbwax was giving birth in the Frontier Cavern until I killed her. So, that's a lot of time. Alright, I think that's all of them dead. So hopefully we can... Is there literally just one treasure on this whole floor and, like, a hundred corpses? Imagine trying to max out the Poco's counter. This would be the floor to do it. Ooh! Apple juice. Well, since we're here, we may as well bring back some dead bodies as well. <laughs> Should have brought my Bulborb spray. It's like bear spray. <laughs> this one blue pigment's like, I just want to hang out with you! <laughs> Well, all right. Actually, there are two treasures on this floor. No! <laughs> Imagine somebody else going to this cave just exploring it. There's like a hundred, like, dwarf bulborb corpses. They're just like, what happened here? Treetop apple juice. That looks nice. Fruit guard. That looks like a good brand of apple juice. All right, yep. There was one treasure and 8,000 enemies. Not a can of beans. That is gross. It's a can of apple juice. Alright, well that sub-level took almost as long as all the others combined. <laughs> At least that's what it felt like. Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 9, the last normal sub-level. Uh-oh. Not more tile lands. Ah! Oh, oh, I thought that was... I just saw that creepy cat face, and I'm like, Ah, oh, it's an enemy! It's gonna kill me! It's like, nope, it's just a cat face. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Don't you want me on your desk? <laughs> oh no, not a bumbling snitch bug. <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> the Wiggle Noggin! <laughs> you knew the name the, the Wiggle Noggin before I got it? That's awesome. <laughs> There are some names of the treasures that I remember, like, um, Cupid's Grenade, the Sunseed Berry, the Dream Material, but a lot of them I do not. SOMEBODY POISON THE WATER HOLE! <laughs> Alright. The Bumbling Snitch Bug, at least it looks like he's not gonna do anything because he's too far away from my captains. All right, the creaming Dirigi bug worries me. Because he'll pull crap like that. There's a snack in my boot. What? What do you mean there was still a white Pikmin back there? Did he not get the sign that he was supposed to run away from the bomb? What a maroon. <laughs> There's a snake in your boot? That's nothing. <laughs> my, my boot is a snake. <laughs> There's a boot in my snake. Because I'm gonna give these snakes the boot. He got stuck on the wall. <sighs> and the annoying thing is I wouldn't have even been able to make him go out of the wall, because if I'd used my whistle, if I'd used my, like, sea stick to do that, it would have sent the other Pikmin plummeting into the pool. Oh, you gotta be joking. Stupid cat bobblehead is in the water now. Just casually froze 20 Pikmin off of his head like it's nothing. Beat him up again! There we go. What a catastrophe! <laughs> oh, I love the puns. Ooh. 
Nice try. Only Poison Pikmin get to come along on the ride. Alright, we get Cat Bobblehead again! Wiggle Noggin! Meow, 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 meow. Alright. Now let's deal with these poison filters with just the white Pikmin. Oh, that's right. This is the sub level where you get the baby bottle pop. Alright, let's, let's get out of there. Oh, that'll destroy the poison filter for me! Oh, how nice. And White Pikmin can probably bring this back fast enough that he won't be able to blow him up. Oh, look at that speed! <laughs> I am speed. Yeah. In Arthur, I it was dream sequences and imagine spots, not flashbacks. Flashbacks do not count. It's a baby bottle top. The maternal sculpture. Um, sure. Oh, sweet! That's it. We don't even have to explore the rest of the... Oh, wait. That floor is actually really small. At least that, that version of the floor was really small. Goodness. I felt like the first attempt at that floor, it was like twice the size. All right, here we go. Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 10. This is the one I was worried about. This is going to be tough. It's boss time, Woody, and uh, this is going to be one doozy of a boss. Probably the most legitimately tough boss in the game. So we're only bringing our purples. Thankfully, they're all flowered. Here we go. This is the boss, the Segmented Cropster. So you know the uh, mysterious remains we found earlier? That was the remains of this guy. So we need he starts rolling around, we need him to roll into the wall. So that he flips over and exposes his soft underbelly for us to take out. But he has a lot of HP, and uh, he can kill our Pikmin pretty easily by rolling into them. And it's really bad if we get flower Pikmin, or if we have leaf Pikmin. Because leaf Pikmin will not survive. So I'm periodically just going to leave. Uh, toss any leaf Pikmin I get aside because they are a huge liability. Also, when he hits the wall, conveniently the rocks always start falling on top of exactly where you and your Pikmin are. Alright. I'm going to be very patient with this fight. He can't kill you by swinging his, uh, like, one arm around, but... I'm gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna whistle my Pikmin off of him before he knocks them off, so that way I can preserve their flowers for longer. Because trust me, Leaf Pikmin in a no-deaths run will die in this fight. Alright, thus far it's going well. The patient strategy is working out. Wow! First try, segmented Cropster. I can't believe that. Alright, well, we will carry the spoils back. I am... I truly... I cannot believe I did that first try. Mysterious Remains does not belong to the segmented Cropster. The Cropster still does have a second limb. Oh, I... I thought for sure that... I thought all this time the Mysterious Remains were indeed from... And yeah, that is the creepiest treasure in the game that we're about to grab. No! My purple Pikmin didn't... Ugh. Gross. Carry everybody back! <laughs> Quickly now. I've gotten very lucky on the boss fights in this run. <laughs> Except for Burrowing Snagrit, who was way more difficult than I expected. Ugh. Yep, that's the creepiest treasure in the game. 670, the Silencer. Fun fact, in the Japanese version of the game, that's 666 Pokos. Yep, they wanted to be super creepy in that. Alright. 
first dr uh, first uh, Wistful Wild dungeon has been completed. That is fantastic. Yeah, I don't think I want that treasure. <laughs> I guess maybe this can be buried treasure. Mmm, <laughs> look at all that delicious treasure. Wait, what?! Eight Pikmin did not die! Am I stupid, or did Pikmin die and I was not aware of it? Did I lose Pikmin on that floor? No, it should not count Pikmin that have died and then I reset him. Okay, hang on. I'm not going to save. I want to see if, like... I was at 100 Pikmin. If that's a glitch, then... I'm going to see if it's like I only have 92 Pikmin now, in which case I'll just redo the boss. But if I still have 100 Pikmin, then that's a glitch, and I'm counting that I beat it. Yeah, I still have 100 Pikmin, so that's that's just a glitch. You're such a liar. I'm not redoing that. I didn't lose any. What I will do, however, is I'm putting my purples back in so I can get a new batch that are all flowers. Yeah. There are glitches in this game, you know? It's not perfect. Far from it. Alright, off to the Hole of Heroes. You're not allowed to, d to destroy the pebbles. Yeah, that was deathless. That was a glitch. I don't know why it said that. When I reach Sunset, I'm going to see what it said people died to. Yep. This, see, this is why I live stream it, because in case ever, and he's like, excuse me, it said you would Pikmin die. I'm like, I, you can literally watch my entire Let's Play. It said eight died in the Cavern of Chaos, but if you watch the Cavern of Chaos video, they, did, they didn't die. So, yep. Yeah. Alright. Hole of Heroes. In my opinion, the toughest dungeon in the entire game. This is going to suck. <laughs>